So people often use the words exercise and physical activity interchangeably and technically in the exercise science world there's a little bit of a, a difference to it and I think the distinction is important because it is helpful to help you understand uh, where some of the calories that you're expending are coming from and maybe where your opportunity for improvement might lie. So just to get the definitions down pat. The definition of exercise is purposeful, planned, structured, and repetitive bodily movement. Uh, and, and usually there's a goal of improving some component of fitness or some, an end result, like say if you're looking at sports. Uh, usually, if you're rating how hard you're working, the intensity level, the rate of perceived exertion, you're at least, at least a 4 out of 10 or more. Of course, 10 being the most uh, effort you can exert, the most intensely you could work. Now, on the opposite side of things uh, is the activities of daily living. These are activities that uh, get you through your day. These are things that like walking around the house, uh, taking care of yourself, being able to bathe, feed yourself, get in and out of a chair, this sort of stuff. This is people, this is things that keep you alive keep you independent for a long period of time um, so sometimes when you're just getting active you're getting your steps in for example uh, there are some benefits specifically and especially in terms of mental health uh, and i'm happy if you're doing something at least getting your steps in is a good start to, to your day is a good accomplishment for the day even if you're not getting the more intense exercise now they kind of counter each other in a way um, you want to, to be able to expend as many calories in both scenarios that's the goal especially if you're trying to see some sort of a change in your body composition if you're trying to increase the amount of energy that you're burning in a day it's important to do both of them because together they account for about 15 to 30 percent of the energy that you expend in a day uh, and I'm going to get into the details what the other components are, but it's important to realize that about 15 to 30 percent of your calories on a daily basis come from either activities of daily living or exercise. Of course, how much is dependent on how much exercise you do and how many steps you get. Now, if you're getting in your act your activities of daily living, it's important. It keeps you mobile. It keeps you functioning better. It keeps you uh, it keeps you active and fit. Um, and I think it's important not to put all your energy in just exercise alone. But at the same time, realize that just activity on its own is not enough. So activities of daily living are good, but they're not great. Because when you're exercising, you actually make these activities of daily living easier. And the more you exercise, the more you advance, the longer and later in life you're able to just be able to be on your own independently and take care of yourself. So I just want you to sort of understand the difference between exercise and activities of daily living. And I want you to see how this all comes into play in the bigger picture.